In this part, we are going to do example on constant gain circles in order to understand the topic uh, well. So uh, let's see how we can uh, design amplifier for specific gain using uh, constant gain circles. So uh, this is the example we have here. Uh, we want to design an amplifier for gain of 11. So this time we actually know our gain. Uh, it's like a specific game. It's not a max game, and the, the design is going to be at 40, 4 gigahertz. Uh, so we, we have to plot a constant gain circles for GS2 and 3 dB. So it means that uh, we are choosing our GS. So we, uh, as we said, we can define them. We can say, okay, the GS should be 2 or 3. So it means that these are not going to be our max GS. And also GL, 0 and 1. So each of these values are going to give a different circle for us. So, uh, what should we do first? Uh, like other examples, uh, we are going to have our S parameters. So, we pick uh, 4 gigahertz for now for this example. So, we have uh, S parameters. And as we agreed before, for this kind of design, we assume that S12 is 0. So, and most of the, actually, most of transistors has this feature. Uh, our, we have a good isolation. So in the next step, we are going to check our stability. Uh, this time our S12 is zero. And if you check the S parameters, uh, S11 and S22, they're less than one. So our amplifier is going to be unconditionally stable. How this happens? If we go back to previous uh, videos, actually remember we have this uh, part for our stability circles at the source and load side. We said that if you remember the gamma in is equal to uh, this value. So in order to find the region, we deliberately made the gamma L zero by making the ZL equal to zero. Uh, so if your ZL is equal to zero, it means that you're picking your impedance from uh, inside this uh, Smith chart. It means that at this point, and then your gamma L is going to be zero. So uh, then you can decide, you can see yeah, if your gamma is S11 is less than one. So we had this all these steps. But here we don't want to do that. Why? But here we don't even have to do this. Why? Because it's very simple. Our S12, as you see here, is already zero. We don't have to check this, all the things. It means that this part, the second part, is always going to be zero. And now, uh, for our example, for in this case, if if, if let's say uh, S12 is zero, this under this condition, uh, the gamma in uh, is actually equal to S11. So it's actually very simple. Now we don't have to check any area or some. Now we don't have to check any area or uh, nothing on the Smith chart. If uh, from this formula, if S11 is less than one, it means that gamma in less than one. So it means that our amplifier is um, uh, unconditionally stable. And if S22 less than one, it means that gamma L is going to be less than one. So that's why um, we have all these steps when, uh, when our S12 is not zero. We have to do these kind of steps, uh, like uh, picking impedance from the Smith chart, then um, checking S11 and this kind of things. But when our S12 is zero, we don't have to do all the things because it's, it's by default. So uh, we have the same thing here. So because S12 is zero, and uh, so here the gamma in is going to be equal to S11, like this, we can write like this. So, uh, and because S11 is less than one, if you go back to the, the for, um, example, is as you see, it's less than one. So it means that the gamma in under this case, under this condition, uh, the gamma in um, uh, the value is going to be less than one. And this means that uh, our am uh, amplifier is stable. So we don't need to check any. Uh... Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with pass status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.